Hi friends, it's Annika and welcome to or back to my channel. Today's video is kind of random and I'm gonna do it as an extra upload because I really wanna film this video, but I'm going to be showing you how to get the Hailey Bieber Glazed Donut Nail. The essence of it is basically making your nails super shiny and super glowy so they look glazed. But I'm going to be tweaking the trend a little bit because recently on her TikTok, she showed a chocolate glazed donut version for fall time and since yesterday was the first day of fall i'm going to be showing you how to get the fall version of these nails i think we should just get right into it but i will show you everything that you need as we go through this and i will obviously have everything linked down below oh also i am not a nail tech um and i might be doing like 101 things wrong but i'm going to show you how i do it and yeah this works for me any good gel extension starts with good nail prep so the first thing i like to do is prep my cuticle i just push them back with this little tool right here and then i will like trim them with this tool right here i also like to set out a little towel for myself to work on and this is just where i do everything and i have my laptop over here to play some youtube videos to keep me entertained while i do this Next, I'm going to take a nail clipper and trim my nails and file them down so that way they are all the same length and gel X extensions keep my nails like super healthy. Um, I don't do any special type of nail care and they just stay really healthy and they grow just fine. So yeah, I really like this method. Okay, now I am going to measure the extensions to my nails. So I use the Apre Gel X Extensions Kit and these are the natural round medium nails. Basically measure the tips to your nails. Um, you don't want them to be too long on the sides and you don't want them to be too short. You just wanna make sure that the tip like fits perfectly onto the bed of your nail. And if you have to file it to make the width more tailored to you, then feel free to do that. So I'm just going to measure these and then lay them all out so they're ready for the next step. just finished measuring all the tips and I have them all laid out so now it is time to get ready to apply them to your nails and I am going to be using the Apre Extend Gel like little polish kit and this is just the first one is a dehydrator the second one is a primer and the third one is the actual extend gel that bonds the tips to your nails and the dehydrator just kind of it's like wiping an alcohol pad on your nails it gets all the oils out so that way everything can stick really well okay and once that's dry i'm going to apply step two which is the primer i'm not entirely sure what this one does but you basically just do the same thing you paint it on like nail polish it goes on clear and you just wait for this one to dry once that's dry we are going to apply a very thin layer of the extend gel to our nails and we are going to cure it for 30 seconds with a uv lamp this stuff is really sticky so be careful but literally just a super thin layer to your nails will do the trick. And if you get any on like your cuticles, just take a brush in some acetone and just clean it up. But besides that, you are ready to cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds. So you're gonna take your nail extension and you're going to take your step two primer, but you will basically brush the primer onto the lower half of the nail, and this just primes it for the extend gel, and then you're gonna let that dry. After your primer has dried on the extension, you're gonna take the third step, the extend gel. Okay, you are going to want to basically wipe off the excess of the brush onto the tip of the nail, and you don't wanna do too much. It's kind of important that you do just the right amount. 
And then I have like this portable UV lamp that I also ordered because it can be kind of hard to try and cure this to your nail in like this other type of lamp. Sorry if this is getting confusing. And you are going to cure this to your nail. You align it to the edge of the cuticle and you're gonna press down with pressure and you can kind of see that bonder go to the front and then you are going to cure it. And you wanna make sure that there's no air bubbles when you do this, so you definitely wanna apply enough pressure. And then you have the first extension on. So I'm just gonna finish off my hand and let you watch. <laughs> on and they're looking pretty good so far and they have like these little notches at the end so i'm going to file that off and you can also file these to be shorter or whatever shape you desire i think i'm going to make them a little bit slimmer and pointier <music> to the shape that I want them. And now I'm just going to buff them out to make them matte before we start the polish. Now we are going to get into the polish part of this tutorial. And for the brown, I'm going to be using this color by Cocoist in E254 Milk Chocolate Concealer. I am going to mix on my little like mixing silicone thing with one drop of clear gel because that is how her nail artist said that they do it. They said that they do like two drops of brown and one drop of clear, so I'm gonna try this. chrome powders from a brand called pretty diva and this is supposed to be a dupe for the tin man can chrome powder which is the opi one that hailey bieber uses <laughs> This is how the nails turned out. I wanted to put on my rings to give you guys like the full effect of how they look. And I feel like they look pretty identical to the trend. I finally am part of the viral movement of glazed donut nails and I am so happy about it. They really are so pretty. And I wanted to come into the natural light with my rings on to give you the full effect of how they look. This is another shot of them. You can just see how glowy they are. But anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to like and subscribe for more chatty videos or vlogs and follow me on Instagram if you want to see some fashion and lifestyle content. I love you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.